Also on Wednesday in this uh, Week in Review, uh, Martin Falls continued his discussion with State Representative Joe Harrison, and they talked about an, a legislative update. What would you think that was the major thing that happened? And take us through your presentation, if you don't mind. Uh, I think in, in light of our district, and that's what we're concerned with, uh, our delegation is very concerned with what happens in our district, first and foremost. But uh, redistricting, um, a disaster. Uh, I can't say any more than, than what happened in the uh, situation that we were dealt with. Uh, the one thing about uh, the state redistricting at state and um, and the house districts, we were forced because of the growth of our population, which we had look at as a good thing, with the uh, the ability for more people to come in because we have the lowest unemployment rate in the state of Louisiana, and that is the issue that we pounded every day during redistricting, that if you're going to start a plan any plan that relates to the state it should be dealt with on a successful areas first because revenue is what drives the state it drives our businesses it drives our very family units mm -hmm. and unfortunately that wasn't taken into account um, we lost on a congressional uh, the third congressional seat was divided uh, nothing against those individuals who are now representing us um, Congressman Scalise, who was an excellent uh, uh, congressman, he worked very hard as a representative and now has demonstrated his ability as a, uh, as a House member in Washington. And then Dr. Cassidy, who I know and have served with in the legislature. But the fact is, is that uh, Terrebonne and LaFou should have been one district. Yeah, we have to work with them now because they are. Yeah, and they, and they are good people, you're right, but it, we maybe should have never got to that point. No, and I don't think that we have, and I won't beat a dead horse at this point, but um, this is a 10-year process, and that's why it was so important to right. us. Uh, it, it's unfortunate that the, um, the politics that were played during that particular uh, session were such that uh, our area lost. Uh, I wrote seven different plans. I started mm -hmm. with the first plan, the coastal plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny and ironic that at that time they said the distance was too far. Well, uh, Dr. Fleming has to travel five hours to get from one end of his district to the next in North Louisiana. And also- That's incredible in itself. It is, it is. It's, uh, you know, and, and the district to the uh, east side of the state that starts up all the way in Monroe goes all the way across, you'll see the map, to Washington Parish, all the way down and to the east. It's the Big L, we call it, uh, which is even a longer travel time. Wow. But I guess I, I lost uh, the idea of where compact districts to, to do what's needed for the communities they represent, and it's going to be very difficult for them to represent those communities. They're very diverse. What, was that the most disheartening thing, Joe? Because I've talked to you many times along with other legislators while it was going on, and it changed. It was like a football game. It was. It was. Somebody, um, somebody scores, somebody ties the game. Somebody scores, somebody's, you know, momentum shifts here and there. And it, every day it was a, a changing, it was a moving target, so to speak. Right. But the politics of it all, did we get to another nasty level in the state of Louisiana with this one? I think every uh, time we go through this 10-year process of redistricting, it's it's a battle. But uh, I look back and I think that history repeats itself sometimes. But in this case, it was uh, it was politics at its worst. Um, you know, when North Louisiana has probably the worst economy of our whole state, it does have the worst economy and the sparsest population of any part of the state. And they were allowed to keep two congressmen versus our area, which is completely the opposite. We are the success. We are the revenue uh, to the state of Louisiana. And we were neglected when we were told first time we had the meeting here in Oma. Right. You will be at the top of the list. You're the first priority. It's amazing how that changes when they get back into the little cocoon up there in Baton Rouge and uh, retract all those statements. Did the... When it was all said and done, uh, and, and I know people try to be professional, I know you do, and I know everybody around here, when you gotta look at the other people and you gotta get back to work, 
either bury the hatchet or you, you never get anything done. But it has to be a little hard at times, doesn't it's, it? Uh, it's a little hard to swallow. Yeah, you're dealing with some of the very people. Uh, another ironic move, uh, one of the gentlemen who wrote the bill on the House side is running for Speaker of the House. And a guy who is uh, the guy at the last day who pulled another 60,000 people out of our district for the congressional district is running for the president of the Senate. Mm, so that's interesting. Those things I will remember. And, <laughs> and I pointed it out to both of those individuals. Uh, sometimes things come back to haunt you and it's, it's unfortunate. I'm not gonna hold a grudge, but I don't think that in light of what they did during that mm -hmm. period of time that I can't see uh, leadership in that area. What have you done for me lately? That's it. <laughs> There's a look at Wednesday. Now what we'll do is when we come back from the break, we'll move into Thursday.